Hi, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, where I hope my uh, laptop is behaving and that this is going to be a video showing you how to solve, um, well, today's Times Crossword, although uh, I'm in America at the moment, so the date line is a bit peculiar in terms of which Times Crossword this is. Um, but anyway, I'm hoping that this is... Um, this is a very new Times crossword, and apologies to those of you who we have had a couple of, I think, tongue-in-cheek complaints to say the the title of the channel is cracking the cryptic, and we only seem to crack Sudoku's. Well, I mean, this is uh, unfortunately, um, well, it's two things really, uh, but mainly it's the fact that the Sudoku videos are so popular, um, and we know that some of you originally subscribed for the crossword content, and we will, of course, try and keep that going. Um, but um, the Sudoku videos certainly seem to be scratching some sort of itch and that's that's why they're appearing more often. So let's have a look at this. Um, daughter with cosmetic obscuring face one concealed under bonnet question um, mark. Well I don't know the answer to that yet but I sus as always with a, uh, a cryptic crossword clue we know that one side of the clue will be a definition. Now here the word daughter it is very often abbreviated to D in wordplay, so I'm very suspicious that the, that the definition here is going to be one concealed under bonnet. Um, now, a little trick that you can do with a crossword clue is to read the surface of the clue. Uh, now here we've got a daughter with some cosmetic on her face and being concealed under a bonnet. So the surface is clearly getting at some sort of hat. You know, we need to read the word bonnet there as being a hat. Now, because this is a, cry uh, a cryptic crossword, we can almost always, therefore, disregard the surface altogether. We should certainly be thinking about something one concealed under bonnet being a car's bonnet. So I'm thinking here, we probably need a word beginning with D, eight letters long, and it's something under a car's bonnet. Well, I've got it now. The answer, I think, is dipstick. Um, and you can see now that we here we've got daughter, that's the D, with cosmetic, well that's lipstick, obscuring its face. So that's lipstick without the L. That gives us dipstick. Let's try and use the letters. Um, handout from court not available in area on island. No idea. Knock up a good score. Um, OK, well, par is a good score in golf, and if you reverse the word rap, you would be uh, sending up a word that means knock. So knock up here is saying reverse a word for knock, and, and that gives us a word that means a good score. Let's try three down. Highest ranking corporal finds love in seven oaks, say. Um, no idea. The thing I'm worried about here is highest ranking. That could be top, I guess. But I don't like the idea that Seven Oaks is a definition. Um, so let's come back to that. Court Scarlet Woman on Meadow in Town. Right. OK, well, this is doable. Court, when you see that in a crossword clue, it's almost always C, being the cricket abbreviation for court. So we've got a C there. So that tells us we're probably looking for a 12-letter town. So how does the rest of it work? Well, Scarlet Woman, here there's a little bit of general knowledge involved, um, literary knowledge. So I think, is it the Scarlet Letter? Was Nathaniel Hawthorne book? I think the lady in that was called Hester. So if we put Hester next, a field is a, a meadow, and we get Chesterfield, which is, of course, a town. Um, Let's try and use the letters. Small change disrupting her plans. OK, this is a relatively simple times crossword clue. Words like disrupting, we immediately need to be thinking of an anagram. Uh, have we got eight letters there to anagram? Well, her plans is eight letters. So we need small change, eight letter word for small change, which is an anagram of her plans. Pause if you need to. But the answer, I think, is shrapnel. Uh, that top now looks more likely there. Let's carry on though with the acrosses. Switching parties in America, proof leads to strong protest. 
Right, okay, well, a proof would be a demonstration. Now, if I switch parties in America, I might switch from the Democrats to the Republicans. Now, D and R are valid abbreviations for Democrats and Republicans, respectively. So if I switch the D of demonstrations for an R, I get the word remonstration, which is certainly a strong protest. That this now makes this three down very odd. Um, top knot, maybe that would fit. Highest ranking corporal finds love in Seven Oaks. Say, right? Okay. Well, I have got this. More general knowledge needed here. Highest ranking is top. Corporal is Corporal Nim, which is a you know another bit of crossword ease that comes up sort of about once every three months, but is probably worth knowing. Love can be O, as in a love score in tennis, and that gives us the word toponym. And Seven Oaks is an example of a toponym because I think it was named for its uh, seven oak trees that used to stand there. Let's try and use 15 across. Bold some rubbish I sweep. Well, my first thought when I read this, um, and I wasn't looking at the letters I had, was that some rubbish I sweep is is suggesting take some of the letters of the phrase rubbish I sweep in order and you will find a word that means bold. However, unfortunately that isn't right here. We need to again use our cricket. So bold is very often abbreviated to B. Some rubbish I think is saying anagram the word some. If I do that I can create the word besom or besom depending on how you like to pronounce that. Um, which is a, a type of broom, so sweep there, I think is, um, uh, and probably besom can be a verb as well. So I think the answer is besom. Let's try this one. Badly handling fog on river worrying. Okay, well, we were very much helped by our letters here. We have an M and an S at the start, and immediately we should be thinking of, well, fog there. I'm thinking of mist, so let's put mist in. Whoops. Let's put mist in and see how the rest of it might work. So that would mean we're looking for a word that means badly handling. We need to put mist on river. Well, river can be a number of things, but probably most commonly it's just an R. And then a worrying. Well, worrying might be eating. If something's eating you, it's worrying you. That gives us mistreating, which of course means badly handling. Now this looks like distribute, but why? Handout, well that means distribute, okay, from court, not available in area on island. Wow, okay, well again, we need some general knowledge here. So if we were to remove an abbreviation for the word court, which can be CT, from a word for area, we can get the word district without its CT at the end. That would give us distri, and then we need the island of Butte. And put that together, we get distribute, which means hand out. Very difficult clue. And uh, we only really got it because we had so many checking letters. Let's try this one. Penetrating eye walking round hospital. Well, again, what I'm thinking here is round hospital suggests I need to put something around an H, which isn't a valid abbreviation for hospital. So that means that the other side of the clue is the definition. So penetrating or penetrating eye. Okay, yeah, the the answer, I think, well, I think it's penetrating I. And rather than, again, what we need to do is to think laterally. So we read the clue, and it suggests that somebody has, has a penetrating eye. They have a very, you know, they're, they're scrutinizing something. But there's another meaning of the word I in the context of sewing. And if we penetrate an eye in, in an embroidery sense, we would thread so I think the answer here is threading. And that is made up of treading, which of course means walking, around H for hospital. Let's try this one. One probes a part of body most painful. OK, well, this is a relatively easy one. Uh, again, look for instructions. Instructions in clues are very often wordplay. So one probes. That suggests to me I need to put an I for one in something else. 
that means I'm looking for a seven letter word which means most painful. Well, even if you haven't got that immediately, if something is most painful, it's comparative. So it very likely ends EST. And that gives us a way to get the part of the body. If we're looking for a part of the body that ends in EST, well, chest is a very obvious example. So I put an I in the middle of A, chest, I get achiest, which of course is most painful. What's this one? One perhaps blue, enjoying such delight. Uh, well, I think this is just a pun. Um, I think it's a whale of a time. Because blue, um, obviously, a whale might be blue. Um, and I think that seems to fit with the A, the checking letters, and also the enumeration. Let's try 21 down. This would help two starting letters if we can get it. So spread pate, leaving half in tin. OK, well, my, my tip for this clue is whenever you see any sort of chemical element in a clue, and here the word tin is not referring to a can, it's referring to the chemical element tin, then use the abbreviation in the periodic table. So the abbreviation for tin is SN. So if I was to put something in SN to mean spread, so I need a word that means spread, four letters, S blank blank N, pate leaving half, or just take half of the word pate, that's PA. Put that in the middle, span, and span certainly means spread. Now that looks good, I think. So 22 across, say two or three rupees for coat. Well, mm, okay. Now here, Again, always when I look at a clue, I am trying to detect as quickly as possible which is the definition. Here, the word for is useful. Sorry, the aircon's coming on in the room. I hope that doesn't disturb the uh, sound quality too much. The word for is very often used as a link between the wordplay and the definition. And it's always the wordplay giving the definition. So we're doing something and for to give us the definition. So here I think the definition is coat. Now the rest of it's trickier. Rupees, well that can be R. So I need to put an R at the end. So we need a word for coat that fits here and you might think therefore of a coat of paint. That's a primer. So say two or three. Well two and three are obviously examples of prime numbers. So that's how that works. Prime plus R equals primer. So this looks like negate without even looking at the clue. So why is it negate? Deny. Well, if you deny someone, you negate. So that's the definition. Secret agents return to cover blown. OK, well, this is a hidden clue. So if we look inside the letters secret agent, reversing those letters, you can see there we have an N-E-G-A-T-E. -E. So we're reversing uh, the order of secret agent and blowing the outside letters with blowing the cover to give us the word negate which is the answer okay so we're doing well we've got half the puzzle done and we've got this we can do this one can we mental disturbance question mark blackout in ferocious weather well two thoughts i have here ferocious could very well be an anagram indicator now here it would be suggesting that we anagram the word weather. Now, I don't like that very much because, you know, if we anagram the word weather, even if I add a couple of letters to it, I'm not seeing anything jumping out at me that that's going to give. So why don't we try a different way? Can we think of a 10-letter word for a mental disturbance and take a B out because B is a valid abbreviation for black? And I can, if we think of the word brainstorm, and we take out a B, we would get rainstorm, which is, a, which is ferocious weather. So I think that's what we need to do for this clue. So which one should we do now? Oh, this is, this is very odd, seven down. Seven, four, with an O at the end of the first word and an I at the end of the second word. I can only think of one thing that fits here, so let's see if it works. Police arresting people over room wrecked with one skull, perhaps. This is very difficult. <laughs> um, 
Okay, if you don't know this phrase, it's really incredibly difficult. So how would you get at it if you don't know something that fits in here? Well, police arresting people suggests to me we need to put an abbreviation or a word that means police around a word that means people. Now, men is very often used for people in crosswords. And with this N in the grid, we could put the men here, look. So we need a word for police around the outside. And then room wrecked is, is very suggestive, an anagram of room. And that looks like it's working well with this O here. With one, well, that could be this one again. So here, what do we need to know? We need to know the met uh, police. So put met around men. Add that to an anagram of room plus I and we get memento mori, memento of death, which is a skull perhaps. Very, very difficult. Do not worry if you didn't get that at first glance. Um, let's try it down as well over here. Not very good as a painter. This is tricky again. It requires a bit of general knowledge. So again, we read the clue. It's shouting at us. Um, you know, that to read that word painter as an artist. But there is another meaning of the word painter. A painter is a rope. So if something's not very good, it might be described as ropey. So not very good as a painter question mark is saying you need to know this, I suppose, more obscure definition of the word painter. Very difficult. <laughs> Severely criticise event with this. Okay, well this is this is easier um, because we have the M now. We just need to think of a field event in um, uh, athletics, and I'm sure you've got it. It's hammer. You severely criticise someone, you hammer them, and hammer is obviously an event. Turning away dogs, rooms cleaner. Um, well, okay, I have got that. This is difficult again. Um, it's difficult because it it plays on the fact that we don't expect to see certain letters appearing together. So how can we get this? Well, 3-3 three, three ending in M blank P and the word cleaner in the clue, we should definitely be thinking of mop. But what's the first word? Well, turning away dogs, you may know poms are dogs, Pomeranians, so we could get that construction if we turn the dogs. And then we have to know that room can be abbreviated to RM. But even doing that, it's very hard, I think, for us to see Mrs. Mop as a likely correct collection of letters, but of course Mrs. Mop is a cleaner. So there you go, that's the answer there. So what's this one? Air something. A bug is initially stopping contactless transaction. Well, an air kiss might be a contactless transaction, I think. How's that working? Okay, A is this A here. If you bug someone, you irk them. Is initial, oh no, is is just this is, plain text. And then initially stopping is the initial letter of the word stopping. That's this S here. So we get all, add all that together, four bits of wordplay in a seven letter word, and we get air kiss. That, that's really very hard, I think. This whole top corner here is not easy at all. Right, let's try 19 across. Still very warm in river. Okay, well here having an extensive knowledge of rivers is very helpful. You just have to pick them up by doing more and more crosswords. So there are loads, probably 20 or 30 three-letter rivers that you need to be familiar with. There is one two-letter river that comes up over and over again, and it's the River Po. So let's read the clue now again, thinking that the River Po might be involved. Still very warm in river. So if something's in the River Po, we need to put P-O around the outside of this. Can you think of a three-letter word for very warm? Well, hot would be the most obvious. But hot in po, we get photo, which of course is an example of a still. Um, so again, 
very clever misdirection from this compiler who's, who, who makes us read these clues in a way that is very unhelpful to actually solving them. Um, 19 down. Pressure to produce milk short of time, calm down. Okay, well, we're helped again here by having letters in the grid. Pressure is very often abbreviated to P. Um, so to produce milk, well, that's to lactate. If I remove one of the T's from the word lactate, I can get the word lactate. Add that to the P, I get placate, which of course means calm down. Um, right, which one should we do now? Let's look at 14 down. Beggars roguish clothing finished with. Um, okay, so here, here we have, need to just read the clue very carefully. So this, this part, ro roguish clothing finished with, we need to read that as a word for roguish clothing, i.e. surrounding, a word that means finished with. Now the most obvious word that means finished with is over. So now, can you get a word that means beggar that would fit this? And the answer, I think, is impoverish. So that's impish for roguish surrounding the word over uh, for finished with. Uh, so 23 across looks interesting now ending in I. Pasta ration in mess about one gram. Okay, so here again the words in mess are making me think of an anagram. So ration is six letters, I need eight. So ra an anagram of ration about one gram, well one gram is probably an I for one and then a G for gram anagram that up to give a pasta. Rigatoni, I think, is going to be useful there. Let's try 11 down. Two types of reserve, including chief not attending. Uh, no, I don't know what that is, which is a bit worrying given how many letters. I can only get one more letter. Uh, look again for university job. Okay, well, if you research for something, you would look again for it. And a university job might be research. 24 down. Poets finished. Well, it must be Oa. Um, please reply omitting verb. Oh, okay, so if you're on a walkie talkie, you might say over to so indicate you finished and can the person you're speaking to reply to you. So remove V for verb from over and we get oa, which of course means is an old word for uh, finished. So we're just left with this one. Two types of reserve, including chief, not attending. Um, well, uh, oh, this is a very clever clue. Okay, so how did I get it? Well, the way I got it was I thought of a word that meant reserve that would fit at the very end of the clue. So the word ice uh, is a word for reserve. And then I need, I can see that I need to include a chief in this section of letters. Now chief can be ch, but I suppose a chief can also be a king. So that gave me this construction, and this is where it gets very clever. So this word not here, is it's so natural to read this as not attending as the definition. So I need to find a word that means not attending, or a phrase that means not attending. In fact, this not is plain text. I need to put it in the answer there. And the whole thing means attending rather than not attending. It means the opposite to what we first think. Now, if you're attending, you're taking notice. So how does the how do two types of reserve work? Well, the territorial army is one type of reserve. So we've got one type of reserve, which is a military reserve, followed by ice, which is a type of, you know, if you show reserve, you would show ice in, a, in the sense of you that had a real sense of coolness about you. And that's all surrounding king not. So taking notice, I think, is the answer. I think that means the crossword's finished. Let's submit it and see what whether it says we're correct or not. This is where we have the pregnant pause. And we want to see green. And we do. 
So there we go. That's today's Times crossword. I hope that it was useful to those of you who are uh, relative newcomers to this sort of puzzle. They are fantastic. As you can see, you needed to have quite a bit of general knowledge to solve it today. And feel, um, don't worry at all if that top right corner seems completely intractable. It was very, very hard. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the channel, please do subscribe. We appreciate that. And um, for any of you that can, uh, consider becoming patrons of ours on our Patreon site. That would be really fantastic too. So we'll be back soon with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.